Hello everyone, I'm Thomas Kincaid, the painter of light. Welcome to Ivy Gate Cottage. This is where I create my paintings. Each work is a world unto itself, a world of imagination and inspiration. I think of these paintings as silent messengers in the home. They bring a message of peace, of joy, of hope, of inspiration. It's a reminder that God loves us and that the world is a beautiful place and a celebration of simpler ways of living. I created Victorian Autumn as the first autumn subject featuring a Victorian house that I've done in quite some time. This is the largest Victorian painting I've ever done. And as such, it has as much detail as any Victorian subject I've ever done, probably more detail. Each flower, each leaf, every spindle on the porch had to be detailed. I put countless hours mixing subtle colors and brushing details in back and forth. Victorian Autumn began as a plein air painting done in the charming Victorian village of Cape May, New Jersey. I've painted in Cape May before, but this is the first studio subject based on Cape May entirely. I wanted to capture that phase in the year when it's late summer, early autumn, and you can see the fall colors beginning to really radiate, and yet there's still some fading blooms of summer. I was enchanted by the details of the Victorian house. I kept adding other touches as I worked. I especially like the flag that is hung from the front porch, and in the distance we can see garden pathways leading you, who knows where, back into secluded places. I always enjoy painting cats. I love cats and I have this great group of models that live in my neighborhood. They will walk by my studio and trot along the lawn and I'll try to capture the cats as they go by. A cat makes a nice touch in the composition. It reminds you to patiently slow down and enjoy the scene that you're seeing. Cats never seem to be in a hurry. I enjoyed putting the pumpkins scattered about the composition as a reminder that fall was on its way. The layering of foliage is difficult to paint, and in this painting you have trees that stand in front of the Victorian, surround the Victorian, go off into the distance, then you have other layers of foliage overgrown upon those trees, then you have the ground cover and other areas that all seem to blend into what I like to call the organized chaos. It's as though the plants all got together there and just grew into their own wonderful symmetry and wonderful interaction. The lights on Victorian autumn are dramatic. Of course, we have the glow of the late afternoon sky, but then we have the dappled light, one of my favorite effects to paint, where you see all the soft little splashes of sunlight that go into the distance. As you dim the lights on the painting, you will really see those radiant touches emerge more strongly. I think the color composition in this painting is very complex and took some great thinking as I worked. I had to balance an overall warm palette with cool touches that acted as accents. I tried to bring in blue tones wherever I could. As a last touch, I even painted the shutters blue just to give it one more touch of blue that would serve as an accent. I think the colors people are using in their homes today will make this painting really appropriate for just about any setting. There is a lot of mauve tones, there's those rich burgundy tones. The blue accents, of course, are a wonderful addition to the color palette, and there's pinks and velvety lavender tones. Colors that people enjoy seeing also excite my eye as an artist. I get so immersed in the idea of color that I even dream in color. I will see scenes in my mind that are quite vivid. I think artists are drawn to color the way sculptors are drawn to clay. You like to get your hands right into it and you want to use color in a way that dramatizes the subject and yet also draws you in. This is a mood painting. There is a softness 
and a sense of quiet. There's not much sound happening in a place like this. It's quiet, and I think we need extra quiet in our lives. There's something about Victorian houses that are very regal, and yet they're inviting. You feel like you could sit on that front porch and just be at peace. All the lights are lit up in the home, and of course we have the sense that it's a big home. Maybe a big family lives there. I've always wanted to live in a Victorian house. I think unless I ever get the chance to do that, this painting will be as close to having my own Victorian as I might ever get. Well, I hope you've enjoyed getting a sneak peek of a brand new work. Each painting tells a story and inspires a heart. That's what it's all about, sharing the light and touching lives every day. God bless.